Hello, Tor Lacey here with a quick lecture about fossils. The main learning objectives for this lesson are define a fossil and identify forms of fossil preservation. For life or signs of life preserved in rock to be considered a fossil, it must have been buried at least 11,700 years ago. There are two types of fossils. Body fossils include the preservation of hard or soft parts like bones, shells, or feathers, or the impressions of such features, and trace fossils, which are evidence of an organism's activity, such as burrowing, crawling, pooping, etc. Fossil preservation is the means of converting the original components of an organism or its activities into a fossil. Skeletal remains, bones, shells, still have their original mineral composition. This original composition may include calcite, aragonite, quartz, and hydroxyapatite. Permineralization involves the porous tissue of the original organism being filled with mineral crystals after the remains have been buried. The precipitating mineral is typically quartz, calcite, and iron oxides. A well-known result of permineralization is petrified wood. When soft tissues are quickly buried, compression from the overlying sediment forces the release of organic gases, which leave behind a thin film of carbon. This process is called carbonization, and it can preserve the intricate details of soft parts such as plant tissue, fish scales, and insect wings. Replacement is the process of chemical rich fluids dissolving and replacing the original fossil material with minerals such as quartz and pyrite, preserving the details of the original organism in the process. Shells made of aragonite can be chemically unstable after burial and will recrystallize to more stable calcite, making them more resistant to weathering and more likely to be preserved as fossils. If the interior space of an organism is filled with sediment, it can lithify to make an internal mold of the shape of the organism. An external mold is the result of an organism leaving an impression in soft sediment. After leaving the impression, the organism may be transported or dissolved away. Fossil trackways, such as dinosaur footprints, are also a type of external mold. Replicas of an organism are called casts and are created when an external mold is filled with sediment that lithifies within the mold. Many fossils in museums are casts, made from the much heavier or more fragile original fossil. This is the end of this presentation. Thank you for your attention.